Welcome to 13 Hour Times 62! Lego Media Reviews. Alright everyone, this week we're going to have a special. This is coming from McDonald's. Sorry about the box. Um, this is the Happy Meal Toys series of Lego Batman. When the first Lego Batman game came out, they made Happy Meal Toys in McDonald's. Must have been around 2007, 2008. And they had all these different parts of the box. So you can punch them out. And they showed all the different toys in the box. And they also had for the girls, as the alternative, um, the Wizard of Oz. So they have that half of the box too. And in here, like I said, they have a bunch of cutouts that you could use with these toys to knock them over. A lot of the toys had these projectiles that, um, that were safe to play with and all the parts of the box you could cut them out and use them with the toys. You know, so there's also things that on the box such as um, can you find the Joker in different areas? Can you find all the villains? You know like Mr. Freeze hiding in the window here. So enough with the box. Let's get to the look at the actual box before I um, mangled it apart right now. So as you saw, those are all the characters that we get and how the box actually looks um, when you get it as a Happy Meal. Now what we're going to do for this week, for the media review, since there's, I have about four of the eight shown um, Happy Meal toys from then, what I'm going to do every day, I'm going to review one of those Happy Meal toys up to Friday because I... Well, I'd have Monday through Thursday. But the toys that I have, that we'll be reviewing, are Mr. Freeze, the Batboat, the Batmobile, and the Joker. So stay tuned, we're going to have some reviews for those every day, Monday through Thursday this week. This will be a lot of fun, and they're really nice toys. I mean, they used to have Lego toys, believe it or not, where you got actual bricks with the set. But even so, now they just have the plastic molding that looks like the Lego figures. Um, these are still pretty good, you know. They represent the Lego sets of the time well, and all the characters. And they're pretty fun to play with if you're, you know, if you're a fan of Batman. And you like things that just pop out. You'll find that out later in the week. So here is the first one that we have for the week, even though it's the last numbered one of all of them. This is the Joker. I only have this um, toys bag with me, so I thought I'd like to show you how the bag looks. You could see the main character and item on the front of the bag. And in the background, you see some of the other ones to play with, the other characters. The Joker Surprise, this is what it's called. And it's number 8 of 8 in the series. And there's your backside. And every one of these includes a little instruction booklet to show how, you, you, how it works together. You also get a code for the original LEGO Batman game somewhere on the model. It's printed. And it's the same color as the model, so it's not um, too hard. Well, it's a little hard to find. But it shows you the feature of the set and how you set it up. And it's blank on the back. You also get a paper that tells you about um, the game itself where you can find cheat codes. And like I said, the Wizard of Oz was the girl version at the time. Also on the back of some of the instructions, for some reason that one was blank, you also see the newer LEGO Batman sets from 2008. Now let's take a look at the actual model we have the Joker, as he was at the time this was made. And over here you can see the code. 
There's a little bar in there. So it's kind of easy to find. You can't really pose him much. You can move his arms up and down like this. And like this. And you can twist his head around, but not the legs. The legs don't move. But it looks pretty good as um, a larger character. You know. And here we have the Joker surprise. It's a giant jack-in-the-box with a J on it. And the basic function of this is to hit this Batman figure. You also get it in that bag. You try to hit the Batman figure with this. You press this green lever and it launches a little fist. You see that? It's almost the same color as the box, so it's unsuspecting. And let's see if we can hit him. There we go. So here's the actual fist that's included in here. Kind of a nice um, prop for the Joker. I've never actually seen it in the Batman game or any um, Batman movies, but a nice little thing to have. And there's the inside. Fits right back in. We'll even hit the Joker with it. The box has a mind of its own. So there we have it. That's the first of the four we're going to show you for the media reviews this week. I thought it'd be exciting to show you how um, how these different toys work one day at a time. We'll see you tomorrow for more review.